Anger and rage on full display on Wisconsin streets overnight as those protests continue after the shooting of Jacob Blake. There is a great deal of new information to go through. Our team coverage includes Leah Linscheid in Kenosha this morning and Josh Breider, who is downtown. We start with Leah. What are you seeing out there this morning, Leah, now that the curfew is uh, about an hour away from being lifted? Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Josh. Yeah, we've been showing you damage all morning. We started at the county courthouse about a block and a half down the street where protests largely continued despite that curfew you're talking about until about four in the morning. Lots of damage down there, several uh, burnt out city vehicles, but we took a walk. We wanted to show you some of the damage around the city. This is a dealership and it really looks like a wasteland. I mean, look at some of these cars. They are completely torched. If I had to count, maybe three dozen, four dozen, truly looking like a wasteland. And something that I can't show you, but I can tell you is the smell here is so strong. You can smell the rubber, you can smell the burnt out cars. Uh, we were talking to some folks who had been here overnight and they said that smell has just taken over the city. Let's take a walk so you can see some of these vehicles. I mean, you can see some of the police tape up. Look at this, just completely gone. It's sort of unbelievable. Now, as we show you some of these vehicles, I also want you to take a look at what you missed last night. Take a peek at this. So this is just one of at least three, four, five other buildings across the city that were destroyed during protests last night. Protesters, again, they were out until four, defying the city curfew that went into effect at eight. At the county courthouse is where they largely remained, throwing fireworks at a line of police there. Now, the National Guard is activated. Governor Evers activated them yesterday to uh, help protect infrastructure and also to enforce that curfew. But ultimately, it was the rain that broke up the crowds right around 4 a.m. Now, we are still waiting on word from police on any arrests or injuries during those protests. They have not shared that information at this hour. We are continuing to ask them for that information. Now, we have shown you just a fraction of the damage. I mean, three dozen cars here, just a fraction of the damage across the city. We're going to continue to look for new damage in this downtown area and bring it to you. We're also going to give you any new developments we hear from police throughout the show. Chris. All right. Thank you, Leah.